How's it going YouTube? This is ZeroBlazer aka Divider996 here with another video of a box opening. Uh, today I have Anohana, the movie version specifically for Victory Spark. Uh, the main reason why I wanted to do this video is um, I had a friend who like he had an unopened box I was like yo this is Victory Spark. This game's gonna die in like a couple months. By the time that I upload this, it's probably going to be dead in maybe one or two more months. Because it officially ends sometime in August 2015. So that kind of sucks. So I just kind of wanted to open this as a kind of memorative video for Victory Spark before it officially dies. And Bushiro replaces it with another game that's going to die anyways. Like they did with Alice Cross. So like, I never actually like read what Anohana stands for is like Anohi mita hana no namae o boku tachi wa mada shiranai Yeah! So just like um, Chaos this box uses the formula where it replaces a common with a uh, shiny rare so that's cool that means you get 20 rares per box or rather 16 rares and 4 double R's but also like Chaos, and unlike Weiss, the double R's aren't split into um, colors, because there's no colors, so you know, they just stick whatever they want. So let's pop this open, check it out. I'm actually not sure how's work. Ah, crap. Alright, cool. So the promo is sleeves. These five packs. If you like Menma, I guess those are sleeves that you can grab. They have like the title name on it. It's actually basically just the front of the box. So, uh, okay. Uh, what else do we have inside? We got, uh, I think this is the playmat and this is the rulings. Just so basically any Bushi Road thing. So, how do I do this? Let's, let's stick these sleeves back in. Lol. And let's close the box, and let's put it sideways. And then if we get any rares, I'll put them up there for you guys to keep looking at, even though it won't be in focus, because I'll have the focus on the cards in front of me. Alright, so just like any Bushiroad uh, standard size card game, there are 20 packs. So we're going to pop this one open. If you guys love Victory Spark, or like you don't want to see it die, and you share the love, Hit the like button on this video to show me that you want to keep Victory Spark alive. So, this pack opened up nicely. Whoa, that was a Zanen. <laughs> it just fell off. So, let's get the focus on here. Oh. Alright, cool. Let's check these out. So we got the commons, we got five commons, two uncommons, and the rare is a Tsuruko. Uh, actually, it's a victory spark, I'm just going to put them all together, there's no point in splitting the rares. I think the way they sort it is similar to Chaos, where it's by character, but I'm not sure, I never actually looked, but I think that's how it was for the set that I play, which is, um, uh, Shining Blade, or, and well, Shining in general, which is now in Weiss. Hooray! Oh, that's a double. Love, Zuriko, and whoa, she has no partner. Damn. And we got level two double R. So that's our first double R. You can tell it's a double R by the little gems on the bottom, so if you've never seen Victory Spark, there's like four gems down there, and then that represents the rarity. One gem is common, two gem is uncommon, three gem is rare. And all the SRs and stuff still reflect on their, their original gem color, so um, if you get an SR of a common, it's still only one gem. Okay, got some anal action, and we have another Tsuruko, the healer, as our rare. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but I haven't actually watched Anohana. I really should because everyone says it's like very emotional and stuff. Just lazy. I haven't watched a lot of anime, so that's just how I am. Too lazy. Too lazy to start series. So we got a Menma Rare for this pack. I'm also not sure how good Anohana is in the current in the current two months of the Vanguard. I mean, sorry, not Vanguard. In the Victory Spark meta, I'm not sure how this set holds up. But hopefully we can get some powerful... Oh, we got another Menma double R. So that's another one we got here. But yeah, hopefully we can get some powerful sign cards. Even though I'm not sure how much they'll like be worth after the game dies. But you know what? That's not the important part. The important part is that you get a sign and you get the hypeness. The hypeness is too real. If we can get a sign. If we don't, then well, GG. But fingers crossed. And we got an Anadu rare for that one. Oh man, these packs aren't. <laughs> like, I try to shake it down. And um, it doesn't want to go down, so there's always like that one card that wants to stay up. It's like, no, I want you to go down, so I can pop you open from the butt. And we got an Anaru, a uh, young Anaru, for the rare. I actually don't have much to say about this. <laughs> I can't say much because I never watched it. I'm so sorry I didn't watch it. It's like a super emotional animu, and I haven't watched it yet. And we got Crying Menma as our rare. One thing that I, I never really understood about Victory Spark is that the whole game relies on upon a partner system. But um, for the most part, people's partners are themselves. So like Jintan's partner of Jintan, Anodo's partner of Anodo. <laughs> And then Menma's partner of Menma. Actually, this this one's partner of itself. So you have cards like that. It's like, what? That's weird. How can you be your own partner? We have another Menma double R. We're getting all the Menma double R's. What the hell? So much Menma. So much Menma. All the Menma. Can we, can we finish it off by getting the Menma... Uh, level one. Can can we get the the Menma chain like all of it, all of it together? Okay, that was Sudoku. Yeah, so that made Victory Spark the like the partner thing made Victory Spark a wow. This pack doesn't like me. Uh, that made Victory Spark a very, um, how do you call it, waifu game, because it was very, very possible, assuming the, um, set didn't have too many of, what do you call it, oh, small jintan, uh, assuming the set didn't have too many different characters, it was very possible to just build a, a deck with only the character you liked, so, like, again, my shining deck, I could quite easily make a deck of only Sakuya. Best Girl Sakuya in that series. I don't know about this one. Probably Anal. Because her name's Anal. Even though she doesn't like it. But it's a running gag. Even in the Dojin community. So. It is what it is. It left a mark. Just be glad that her name isn't Anal in Katakana. Then... That would suck. I actually had friends who like, they try to search pictures of her. Oh, we did! <laughs> we got full Menma! Oh my god. Every double R is Menma. What the fuck? <laughs> we 
We did it! We got the full Menma! <laughs> we still have the shiny. Will the shiny be a Menma? Is that what's gonna happen? Will, will we get a shiny Menma? Or did I like miss the shiny on accident? Because it's a common and I just missed the shininess of an SR. I'm not sure. But yeah, I have friends who look for anal on like Pixif and they're like, it's a lot of pictures of butts. I'm not sure why. And then they thought about it. And it's like, oh yeah, her name's Anal. That makes sense. So, speaking of Anal, that's an Anal Rare. So we still have the Shiny out of four more packs after this one. So we guess five more packs, technically. Can we finish off the, the Menma Spectrum? Can we finish off the, the bamboo shoot spectrum with a powerful, oh, shiny. It's a common, but it is a Menma. So uh, we got full Menma right here. So that is our SR. Unfortunately, no sign, but we did get a complete spectrum of Menmas. All the Menmas, put them in some ramen, eat them up. Best way to enjoy your Menmas. So the rest of these are just whatever cards. Unless there's like an expensive rare that I don't know about. Actually, I don't know what's expensive in this set. I didn't look it up. So I'm not sure which ones are the rares that be money. It's not as easy as Chaos, because in Chaos... Whenever a card is just like salvage a, there's like a every set has this card. It's a salvage a set card. Um, I mean, it's a set card that salvages an event card. There we go. And those cards are always like over five dollars at least. Some of them are over ten. Some of them are twelve. It's crazy. It's like every deck needs it. So those pop up in price like crazy. We have not gotten any bags this. Uh, box maybe the last one hopefully we'll see we'll see and we got the Menma rare and this is our final pack surprisingly all these packs opened up really nicely I'm actually very happy not a lot of them actually like ripped some of them actually kind of did but you know that's unavoidable and for this one our rare is well it's tiny Tsuruko it's a lot Tsuruko Anal with glasses, and to heal. So, that is our final card. As a recap, let's take a look at all of our Menmas. We got a uh, Nisoberu Menma. We got Honto no Negai Menma. We got Chigao Onegai Menma. Oh, these two are partners. Not bad. Uh, we got, I don't know. It's either, I think it's Chigai Hi no Omoide or Toi Hi Omoide. I can't, I don't know. Menma. It's still Menma, regardless. And then Kanata o Miru Menma. Yeah. So, it's just all Menma. It's a very Menma box. Anyways, thank you for watching. Again, if you love Victory Spark, give me a like so I can know. And with all that said, this has been Zero Blazer, aka Divider996, signing out.